Hi folks, this is Linear Algebra Take Home 2. We're asked to recall the trace of a matrix. Definition for that. So what is the definition of this? It's You take a square matrix and you add up its diagonal entries. So that's what the trace is. And we're asked to show that if A and B are both n by n matrices, then the trace of the product AB is the same as the trace of the product BA. So even though in matrix multiplication the order matters, in other words AB in general is not equal to BA, it turns out that if you add up the diagonal entries you'll get the same thing. Okay, so this is going to be a computational proof. And like so many we do in class, um, let's let... Huh, I can just... Let's let C be the product of AB. So what's the IJ entry of C? Well, by definition, it's the sum from K equal 1 to N, A, I, K, B, K, J. Now I'm interested in the trace of A, B, so I'm interested in the trace of C. The trace of C is the sum from I equal 1 to N, all these matrices are N by N, of the ii entry of C. Well, what's the ii entry of C? Well, here's the formula for the ij entry. So if I want the ii entry, everywhere I see a j in this formula, I'm going to plug i in. So this means, oops, I don't want to put a semicolon because that looks like a j. So cij is this, so that means that that implies that the cii entry is this. That means that the trace is the sum from i equals 1 to n of the sum of k equals 1 to n a i k b k i. So all I'm doing is substituting this animal for the c i i. And so that gives me the trace of C. Now I can proceed similarly, and I'm going to let D be the matrix B times A. And similarly, I can get a formula for the II entry of D. That's the sum K equals 1 to N, B I K A K I. So that gives me that the trace of D, the trace of BA, is the sum I equal 1 to N of the sum K equal 1 to N, B I K A K I. So to prove the theorem, right, to prove the result, I need to show that the traces of C and D are the same. In other words, I need to show that this formula is the same as this formula. Okay, so I've just recorded here what we have for the trace of AB, what we have for the trace of BA. My job is now to convince you that these double sums are actually the same, actually work out to be the same double sum. So. The first thing, uh, let's get the A and the B in the right order. So let's work with this one a little bit. That's going to be the sum I equal 1 to N, the sum K equal 1 to N, and the commutative property of multiplication there gives me that. Now let me look at this carefully and compare it to this. What's going on? Both of these indices of summation are running from 1 to n. I look at what I'm multiplying here, a, k, i, b, i, k. So the innermost indices match and the outermost then match. Isn't that exactly what's happening here? I'm adding from 1 to n, the outermost match and the innermost match. Now on this summation, the first summation is adding the outermost uh, index. That's not what's happening here, but that's okay because I can switch the order of summation as we've talked about before.
Now it's just a matter of relabeling letters so everything looks the same. Remember, K and I are the indices of summation. They're dummy variables. They're like the x's when you integrate f of x dx. As long as you're consistent, you can relabel these to be whatever letters you want. So I'm going to do a, a two relabelings. I'm going to relabel things here and relabel things here. So I'm going to relabel K with M, because that's a letter I haven't used yet, and I with L. If I do that, this will be the sum from M equals 1 to N of the sum L equals 1 to N, A, M, L, B, L, M. How can I get this to look like that? Well, it can relabel the I to be M and the K to be L. So now this is the sum M equal 1 to N, the sum L equal 1 to N, A, M, L, B, L, M. So hence, what have we shown? The trace of AB is the same as the trace of BA by using the definition of matrix multiplication, the concept of a W variable, and switching the order of summation. Okay, so that'll do it for number one. Okay, for number two, we're to find examples of matrices A, B, and C where the trace of the matrix ABC is different than the trace of the matrix ACB. So even though you can reverse two factors like that, you can't go rearranging factors willy-nilly and get the same trace. So I picked these three standard matrices. I computed ABC to get this matrix. And so the trace of ABC you add the diagonal entries. So negative 5 plus 19 is 14. And the trace of ACB, on the other hand, you add the diagonal entries, you get negative 4. So you can see that these are not the same, and so that's the example we're looking for. That'll do it for Take Home 2.